Kittens make wonderful pets, but it's important to understand the essentials. To give your kitty the best start in life and help introduce them to their new home, I've included my top 10 points. Number one, catify your home. When you first bring your kitten home, it's important to remember that they will feel scared and lonely. Catifying your home will help your new kitten adjust to their environment and reduce stress. So what does catify mean? To begin with, try and limit your kitten's access to a few rooms in the house and have all their essentials close by. Cat furniture such as the Playmate, Scrunch and Sticks and the Cat Essentials range are perfect for cats, combining hidey holes, cozy caverns and elevated retreats all in one. Catify also means mental stimulation and enrichment through interactive toys, games and scratches which help your kitten to learn and demonstrate normal behaviour. Number two, kitten food. Kitten food should be fed until your kitten has reached adulthood. We recommend feeding a rotation of premium, complete and balanced cat food diets with a mix of meat proteins as it can help reduce the risk of allergies developing later in life. Fresh water must be supplied at all times and in a convenient location for your kitten. Cats also naturally prefer to drink from running water, so consider water fountains, which are a great way to encourage water intake. Number three, intestinal worming. Good rule of thumb to remember for worming is every two weeks until 12 weeks of age, then monthly until six months of age, then every three months for life. Always use a vet recommended wormer, like one of these ones. Number four, heartworm prevention. Many monthly combination products for cats also include protection from heartworm. Number five, flea and tick prevention. If your kitten is going to be an outdoor cat and you're in a tick area, such as along the eastern coastline of Australia, you will need to think about tick prevention and use a product like one of these. If you're not in a tick area or your cat is 100% indoor, you can consider using a combination spot on product like one of these. Number six, grooming. Grooming is a great way to bond with your kitten and a good habit to get into right from the start. Also important to help reduce shedding and the development of hairballs. Number seven, toilet training. Kittens naturally value cleanliness, so with a bit of persistence, toilet training is usually fairly easy. How many litter trays should you have? As a general guide, have one litter tray per cat plus one extra. For example, in a one cat household, one plus one equals two litter trays. In a two cat household, two plus one equals three litter trays. Number eight, microchipping. Your kitten should already be microchipped prior to adoption as this is a legal requirement in most states. Be sure to update the contact details with the microchipping registry and register them with your local council. Number nine, vaccination. Kittens usually require three vaccinations spaced four weeks apart. These usually occur at six to eight weeks of age, 12 weeks of age, and 16 weeks of age. Desexing. Desexing has several benefits, including preventing unwanted litters, a friendlier demeanor, less fighting, and prevention of certain diseases. We generally recommend desexing at around six months of age. However, it's best to discuss with your vet the optimal time for your kitten. With all this in mind, remember to enjoy your new bundle of joy. And remember, if you have any questions, feel free to jump onto petcircle.com.au. We're always here to help. Cool. <laughs>